And I'm Maria, and today we need to talk about a really important topic because it's like the number one problem that married couples have, and it's called cheating. Los cuernos que te pegan los tarros. La infidelidad. Ojalá como que esto parara de una vez, pero no. We see it happening over and over again, over and we and see over. it in public figures. Recently, Khloe Kardashian, while she was pregnant, pregnant. Uh, Cardi B, oh. And she got a ring on her finger, and she's pregnant. And she's hitting records with the number one in Billboard everywhere, and not even it includes our Queen Bee, Beyonce. La Reina, the one we all look up to, got cheated on, and she took him back. Well, they all took him back. They all took them back. Yeah. But what they all have in common is that they're very uh, public women public figures who are very like involved with their audience, their role models. They're very powerful. Um, as far as Beyonce, everyone looks up to her as a leader. Someone who's a feminist, yes. eh, que habla de las poderes de las mujeres, um, she's there out front, including Khloe Kardashian, que yeah. ella misma tiene un programa que es de... Um, about owning up, about to your your body. owning up to your body and accepting yourself and so much As about being are. powerful and not letting anyone bring you down. And these women are going exactly through the same thing. And Cardi B, well, we see her as ella no le importa nada, eh, yeah. vive la vida feliz, like eh, her life is perfect, her. todo le ha ido espectacular. 2017 was amazing for her and now 2018 is even better because now she's number one in everything. She even beat Beyonce with the, with Billboard records, the top Sienna. songs in Billboard and all these women still get cheated on. You would yeah. think that they would never because they're perfect. It's not that they're perfect, it's just their life is very organized, they're independent, powerful women, they have their careers, they're extremely successful. So it just looks like, why would a guy cheat on, you know, someone who is so, have their life so together? So it's just like a big question, it's like, what? You could be Beyonce and get cheated on? And I also think, Maria, it's a little disappointing for the women who follow these yeah. women because I'm like, you know, if I was Beyonce, I would never get cheated on. Or they sing about these songs like women empowerment, don't let your man cheat on you. And but it just shows square no. No, but wait, it shows, it shows that you know they're real women just like everyone else. At the end of the day, we face the same problems and we face like hardships with our significant others. So it just makes it more real. Like sometimes we see them on the screen and they're like untouchable, but then when things like that happen, it makes you realize, okay, they're just like everybody else. Like and they I go through the same stuff. Otra parte que lo hace difícil es que todo el mundo se mete en la relación porque yeah. es una relación pública. And everyone gives their opinion. Everyone wants to say, leave him, forget about him, listen to your song, be careful with me from Party B, <laughs> which is a really good song, by the way. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. But what is it? about these men that why do they choose to cheat i don't get it i really don't get it when i heard the news about beyonce i was i almost cried beyonce did a whole album about it and uh, she made millions off of this made a movie like uh, with the with the album talked about her grandma her mom how they left these men that cheated on on her generation so why is it that these women took them back we're gonna find out. I just want to know why these men cheated on them in the first place. I think that's the bigger question. But if you want to know what's going on, why these women took these men back, join us in the next segment. And we're back because we need to get to the bottom of this. Maria's right a little now. mad, guys. I'm mad, I'm so mad. Can you say it in my face? I feel like I show everything in let my me, face. Let me put on my shades real quick because I feel like Maria's about to throw some shade and we yeah. gotta like, oh. <laughs> the hater blockers because. Put on my hater blocker shades, okay? <laughs> Why did these public figures, estas figuras públicas, perdonaron a sus esposos? By coming to the conclusion with this assumption that they've worked so hard and keeping the relationship together because it must not be easy to have a public, a public relationship, relationship, especially being a public figure as a public woman, like 
you have to take care of so much and being with a like a public man like they are like Tristan's a basketball player Jay-Z is a singer so and it's probably not man. easy because women are probably throwing themselves at them at all times pero algo que dijo Cardi B uh, which I'm sure many people have seen around and were in complete shock basically she said why am I gonna leave my man when I know the way he is and start with someone new to get it done again that's sad like why do we Porque have to mentalidad. justify cheating Vieron a Chloe, que ya tuvo su bebé, she already had her baby. Mm. I was so happy when I she know. like said that she was pregnant. Thank you. <laughs> and then she's about to give labor and we find out that Tristan cheats. With like five women. <laughs> like why? 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 She was so loving in the TV show Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Like she's so loving she's my favorite. with him. Pero I'm team fue <laughs> Que ya los vieron juntos, so ella lo perdonó. And it made it was made public already yeah, through the Twitter and paparazzi everything. and everything. Just like the paparazzi caught him cheating, the paparazzi caught them, you know, trying to yes. fix them. And we already know now that Beyonce and Jay-Z are still together yeah. because they're already touring together. They're doing On The Run, second tour. Making millions and millions and millions. I hear some women say when they get cheated on, especially when they've been in a marriage or in a long relationship and they've worked and invested so much in their relationship, it's like, okay, he did one thing wrong and he's done everything right. So they want to forgive him. So that's just like, it makes you think like, what would you do in that situation? Because sometimes I, one of my like best friends, he's a guy, and then he's like, you can have $1 million, but you're still going to pick up $1 from the floor. <gasps> I'm like, seriously? Like, you're gonna downgrade like that? Like, you already have one million dollars. Why do you want to pick up garbage on the floor? Like, you're too busy picking up dollar bills when you have so much at home. Or, and then, another thing he said, he's like, I can have filet mignon every day, but you want to have a burger once in a while. The Ma woman's feelings, who has Maria been bending over backwards on you? Maria no, Maria because you invest your whole heart and your soul into like a relationship, a guy, and you're gonna go stab someone in the back? I just feel like that's so disrespectful. Tienes razón, María. Ah, Pero piénsalo. Imagínate el divorcio de Jay-Z y Beyoncé. They're a billion dollar, dollar industry. Just themselves. So imagínate ese divorcio. Dignity, de... money, dignity, money. I'm sorry, dignity. But whatever. But I'm team Beyoncé. And I'm happy, you know, I'm happy that they were able to work things out. But now we are going to find out why is it that these men cheated. But we're not going to tell you we're not, just yeah. yet. <laughs> Just yet. That'll be I, coming up. I next. might take off my shades for that one because Maria's a little like throwing shades still. So I'm like, oh, but in the next in the next segment, maybe we might take these off and get a little more we'll serious. I don't know. I've heard about it. <laughs> I so. really think there has to be something happening at home, like different factors as to why um, men decide to cheat. And I really think it shouldn't be th it shouldn't be something that a girl has to think about. It's like I always have to constantly worry that my man is gonna cheat, and then the man's making the woman crazy, you know? Well, at the same time, these people live a life of travel. Cardi B is touring the world. She's number one right now. Beyonce, well, right now she's touring with Jay Z. But you know, at the times when she wasn't touring with Jay Z, and they were both touring separately, este, y Khloe Kardashian también tiene la familia en LA. But right now she's living in. Uh, Cleveland in Ohio um, so you know and then her husband is a basketball player who travels all the time so it's very easy for these people to get tempted physically they have it all materialistically lo tienen todo tienen plata tienen pueden viajar el mundo no tienen preocupaciones pero a veces las emociones no están ahí entonces lo que explicó Jay-Z was you know I even though I have it all in a, in a moment in time I felt lonely I felt lost I felt like I wasn't having a connection with anyone period he had a very candid interview as well on CNN with Van Jones and he was so sorry he was genuinely sorry for doing that to Beyonce he said like the worst part was to be honest and to and really to see, see the pain, the pain that he caused in the woman's face. So it's just like, wow, that's the love of your life. That's the mother of your children. Imagine how so. Tristan must feel because the whole world saw him kissing these girls at the club. Did you see the video? He was like, mm, mm, where everybody, con todo el mundo. But I think the message, the root of everything is don't get involved in a personal, private relationship. Like, 
Don't go tempting married men, don't go tempting married women. Y se quedan metiéndose en su propia vida personal y no en la vida de los otros. If you are going through this, at the end of the day, it is your life. Like Cardi B said, it's yeah. my life, my relationship. I choose what I want. So at the end of the day, choose what's best for you and your life. Just let people be happy because you're breaking up a marriage and you're breaking up people who have children. Thank you for joining us. We Don't love y'all. Spread love. <laughs> Don't cheat. There we go.